Hi everyone, Lee Veris here, bringing you Photoshop tips and techniques for teachers and students. Uh, today's rant, I thought we would revisit uh, the lighting and layers technique that I explored in a previous rant uh, that was really more about the advanced blending options. It turned out that that was a pretty popular rant, uh, one of my more popular ones. So I thought uh, we'd look at that uh, lighting and layers technique with some simpler still life images. And uh, this is perhaps um, really well suited to our current predicament where we're kind of uh, sheltering in place here because you can, um, you can do these things from inside your home. So uh, let's take a look at these uh, lighting and layers techniques and uh, hopefully this will inspire you for your own creative explorations. Let's take a look. This tutorial examines three different still life photo projects and used advanced layer blending techniques to create the effect of red, green, and blue lighting gels. We'll use lighten and screen layer blend modes to build up the lighting in layers. We'll use layer masks to control where all this light is applied. So first up, uh, we're gonna look at the lowly bathroom sink here and uh, what kind of fun we can have with a flashlight. Uh, so <laughs> I've got uh, four shots here where I just moved the flashlight and aimed at different areas of the sink. And we're going to put this all together using this uh, lighting and layers concept. So I'm going to select all of these images here. And uh, we're going to go to Photo, Edit In, and Open as Layers in Photoshop. And here they are coming in. So we can see now once we've got all the, the layers in there, there's there's you know four different lighting directions. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna start at the bottom here. And uh, we're going to put these lighting, uh, different lighting directions into the different channels of the image. So uh, the trick to doing that is to go to the uh, layer options flyaway here and select blending options. So here you can see it under advanced blending in this area we've got red, green, and blue and I can uncheck uh, the blue and the green and you'll notice now that the color turns red because the only light from that uh, image is going into the red channel. Okay, uh, now if we look at the next, the next image, um, this has got light going down into the bowl of the, of the uh, sink. If we change the blend mode for this layer from normal to screen, it blends in with the, the red light on the side here. We could also choose lighten. Um, so whether you use lighten or screen, sort of they have slightly different effects sometimes. In this case, since this bottom layer has very little light in it, uh, if I choose lighten or screen, it looks pretty similar. So we'll leave it on lighten for now. And I'm going to go back to my blending options because uh, what I want to do is put that light into the blue channel. So I'm unchecking the red and the green. I get nothing but blue there. Okay, and let's go to our next layer. Uh, and again, if I if I choose screen, it will it'll sort of blend it in. Uh, and let's see if we can see the difference. See, lightning has a little bit more contrast in it because it's just substituting the lighter pixels instead of blending in with all the the brightness of the underlying layer. So um, we'll stick with lighten only and. Um, Let's put this into the green channel. So I go back to my blending options here, uncheck the red and the blue, and I have the light now in the green channel. And our last one up at the top, I'm just lighting the background behind the sink. And let's let's put this again in lighten or 
yeah, let's do lighten. And uh, we'll again go to the blending options. And I'm going to put this into the red channel. Now the, be the beauty of this, having the lighting in layers, is that we can always edit this later uh, to change the colors. So for instance, you probably saw me blast by that here. If I add red and blue, I get magenta, right? So I can, I can create completely different color combinations here. Uh, and um, it's worth it to just play around and explore that. Let's take a look at the next uh, the next image here. Um, I'm going to look at uh, just the um, okay. So let's let's look at this one. This is uh, a a bit simpler, but the lighting is more interesting, and it's uh, it's something you can have a lot of fun with uh, clear glassware, which really has no color. And again, I'm just taking a flashlight and, and changing the direction of the flashlight to get different lighting angles on this. So we'll select all of these. Uh, I will uh, edit in and we'll open as layers in Photoshop. And once that's in place here, uh, now we can see we have the different layers. We could simply just blend these using um, uh, we could screen it together and just do grayscale, you know, just uh, so now we have a sort of monochromatic thing. But this similar thing happens here if we if we um, instead of blending all the white light, uh, we'll go and I'll make a, if I double click on that empty area of that layer, I get the layer style of dialogue and we can do our blending options here. So let's say, um, you know, I'll take out the red and the green. I mean, uh, leave just the green. we got green color there. Uh, we can go back here and uh, we'll change that uh, for red. And, and then we'll change the top one for, uh, we'll make that one blue. And again, like if I if I wanted to, I can blend two. Now, if I think, you know what, that's a little too bright. I like that color, but it's just too bright. Uh, what I'll do instead is I'll duplicate that last layer. And then instead of making this uh, blue, I'll make this one green. So they both combine and we'll just uh, we'll just change the opacity of that layer. So I can I can kind of make it a little bit brighter, but not alter the color that much. So I've got I've got this same image duplicated twice and down in here. And this one is just going into the, the blue layer. And and then I add a little bit into the green at 54% uh, opacity. And I've got that kind of effect. So um, you can have a lot of fun with this and they can get more elaborate when you add uh, the use of layer masks. So let's take a look at a, a more uh, uh, complicated image. So we'll undo the red uh, here. We have this still life of these very interesting, uh, this very interesting pottery, right? So I've got a lot of different lighting directions here. And uh, so we're going to open them all in layers. So this is a bit more elaborate. So I've selected all of them. We'll do my photo edit in trick here go to open as layers in Photoshop all right finally we're getting there we're getting there all right there we are so uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and start from the bottom up and uh, we'll leave this uh, as white light and we'll get the next one in here um, this one let's um, Let's use the lighten blend mode. And uh, I only need to take out, this is the flashlight. So you can see I'm painting the, the light over this, uh, uh, over that pot there. And I'm just going to mask off the, the image of the, of the flashlight. So I make a layer mask, I get black, 
and I'm just going to mask that off. We'll use 100% opacity, mask it off. And so now, now I've got, um, I've got, I'm just sort of building the image up, but I'm only using the parts that contribute to the effect I'm looking for. So let's look at the next layer up. Uh, this is a similar one. I've got this big scoop of light here. Let's uh, add that in. We'll use lighten uh, blend mode. And again, I'm just going to uh, mask off uh, the image of the flashlight moving around. So white layer mask, get black paint, get my paintbrush and just mask that off. So these are kind of impossible lighting effects because I actually the light source had to be right there and it would have been in the shot, but we've masked it off so you don't see it. All right, now we have, it looks like we've got a, we've got a couple of really much more lit things, but actually what I'm more interested in is, is the light that's being cast through the shadows over here. Uh, so I think that's kind of interesting out there. And... Um, so what we'll do, we'll, we'll use a, a, a lighten again, or we could use screen, we'll use lighten. And uh, in this case, I'm going to put this, let's, uh, we'll put that in, um, let's try that in the green channel. So I'm going to double click on the empty part here to get my layer style dialog. I'm gonna put it in the green channel Okay, and now I'm going to mask off everything that's hitting the pottery because I really only want it in the background. So white layer mask, I have black. I'm just going to mask it all off the areas where I don't want this to touch. I don't want it to touch my pottery here. I don't want it to be in this part of the foreground. I'm going to kind of trim it back a little bit here so that it kind of hugs the contour of that, that cast shadow. Okay, now let's take a look at this one. Uh, you know, maybe we'll do a red over here. So we'll use lighten again. And I will go into my blending options and we'll just put that in the red over here and again uh, I'm going to mask this off um, so I'm gonna I'll show you a, a, a different kind of a different technique I really I'm looking at this and I only want to use this little bit of red light back here so I'm gonna start by making a white layer mask and instead of uh, painting off all the stuff I don't want to see I'm going to paint off the stuff that I do want to see because I'm, I'm painting with um, black into this white layer mask. So I'm going to paint off this area up here. I don't want to see that part of it. And uh, now, now that I've got that all painted off, now I can, I, I'm highlighting that layer mask thumbnail. I'm going to invert it. So I do Commander Control I and now uh, it was easier to paint that off and now I can, I can kind of trim it in a little bit better. I just want to make sure um, that I'm not seeing. I've seen a little bit of red glow in there. That's kind of cool. I'm going to leave that like that. Uh, now let's see what our next layer is. Our next layer has this light over here uh, and let's light and so it's blending in over here uh you know maybe we'll do uh maybe we'll do blue over there or we'll see i'm just going to see what what that's going to be like so we'll do lighten again and uh again i'm going to double click in there let's uh let's do yeah maybe we'll do blue and green um because i think blue is just too dark We'll, we'll do blue and green. And uh, again, I'm going to hide this this time. I'll, I'm going to hold down the option or alt and click make a black layer mask. And then I'm going to paint with white where I want 
that blue light to show up. So I'm going to paint it over in here. And I'll hit the X key and paint with black and trim back just that much a little bit so it doesn't overlap the green as much. Uh, and OK, let's move up. Here's this. This one has an interesting little ping of light up there. Um, let's see. Maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll make this. Uh, let's do the light in combination. And maybe we'll make this red. So uh, uncheck that and that. And uh, do I like that or do I like yellow? I think I'm going to go with red. And again here, let's do the that sort of inverted layer mask thing. So I'm going to add the, the, the white layer mask. And I'm going to paint with black just in this area because that's really the only place I want to see that red color. And then we'll invert that layer mask. So Commander Control I. There's that little red ping in there. And I remember there was a little bit of red uh, showing up here. So I'm going to paint with... I like that, just kind of that little kiss of edge of red there. Uh, all right, now let's see. What do we have next? I think I think I will use this one just for this front part of that uh, of that pot. Again, we'll blend it by using uh, light and only. I could almost leave this alone, but I don't like. I'm filling in that shadow. I don't like that so much. So I'm going to hide this entirely. So I'll hold down the uh, Alt or Option key and click on the layer mask icon and I will get a black layer mask and then we'll paint with uh, white and a nice soft brush here. Um, I'm going to paint with a little bit reduced opacity because I want to build it up just a little bit. I just want to get just a little bit in here. So I can, I can kind of really uh, concentrate the light where I want it and build up, building this lighting in layers here. Uh, and then we got, oh, this is very interesting up here. Uh, so we're going to add that in again, also light and only mode. Um, I'm going to add the, uh, let's see, what is it doing to the rest of the image? It's nothing, not, it's only really affecting it up there. So um, the white layer mask and I'll paint this little thing out with black. Okay, and our final layer on top is adding that little bit of light there. So we'll add that again in light and only mode. And I almost don't have to mask that off. So that's starting to look pretty interesting. So uh, you can see how powerful this uh, this technique is and I was literally just using a flashlight here but by blending all the lighting in layers I'm able to create uh, a more interesting image than I could if I had just tried to light this all in one shot okay I hope you like that uh, let's look at a review So we saw how to use advanced blending options to blend into the red, green, and blue channels selectively. We used the light and screen blend mode to build up the lighting in successive layers. And finally, we used layer masks to control where the light is applied in the scene. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Photoshop Rant. If you have any questions or you'd like to see more detail about any of the techniques I touched on in this project, please let me know in the comments. You can always find more detailed information on my website, and you might consider following me on YouTube and Twitter to find out about my various classes and workshops. Be sure and like the video, and please subscribe to my channel on YouTube and ring the bell so that you don't miss any rants in the future. Please consider following me on Instagram. I have two books in print available on Amazon in Kindle as well as paper versions, Mastering Exposure in the Zone System for Digital Photographers, and my bestseller, Skin, The Complete Guide to Digitally Lighting, Photographing, and Retouching Faces and Bodies. 
If you're looking for more in-depth Photoshop tutorials, I have a number of video courses available from my online school at veris.com. Look under the Education menu for Online Courses and pick from 16 courses covering all aspects of post-production, workflow, retouching, and special effects, including my latest course on Black and White Mastery, still at a int low introductory price of just $20. It's going up to $99 in the middle of this month. So enroll now to get the discount. Thank you for watching. Post your questions and suggestions for topics to explore under the video, and I'll see you in the next Photoshop rant.